Hello there, people. Today I'm going to do my November home runs and strikeouts. And let's get started. We'll start out with what I've been using the most was the Elba Pop Papaya Mango Moisturizer Cream Shape. Now this stuff is, I like it. And this stuff really is, um, it's moisturizing and when you shave you, you and you're done, you don't have to shave and lotion on afterwards, that's how. And it's hyperallergenic for anybody that's allergic to it. And um, it reduces the risk of nicks and cuts. And, and sometimes I'll get a nick and cut when I use my other shaving cream that I use, Skintimate. But with this, you don't. And I like this. And um, I got this online at soap.com. So in case anybody wondering. And I hope you all had, and, and just to pause for a moment, I hope you all had a wonderful turkey. You know, turkey day, Thanksgiving. And you all had a good time with your friends and family. I know I did with family and I gobbled and ate a lot and then I ate again later that day so I did a good job and then I also um, facial gel raspberry purifying softening skin from Friedman and this you can get I got it at FriedmanBeauty.com and this stuff I put this on once a week on my face you know you just you scrub it in it has light um, light little pellets or ball or little grains or something you put them on your face and then as you're rubbing it just pops and they go right in and make it you know lather up so I like that and also Mondays and Thursdays lately I've been putting on a deep down detoxifying mud mask now this stuff works I got this at CVS um, back in February March and I started using it and then I put it aside because I didn't think I was gonna like it but I've been using it so every Monday and Thursday I've been using it. I love it. I really, really do. Oops, sorry. You have to put it out for at least, uh, it says 10 to 15 minutes. But I put it out for 10. And it does just fine. It's already dry and it's fine and everything. And also I have my Clean and Clear Advanced Oil Absorbing Cream Cleanser. I use this sometimes during the day. Like in the morning I'll use it or I use my other stuff that I use in the morning um, but I've been using this the, lately and it really does absorb the um, oils in your skin it makes it soft and not shiny and, out, and at night the days that I don't use the Freeman and the mud mask I'm using the Smart Essential Aveeno purifying facial um, swash and this stuff works great so you know and I like using this and then um for my lips, I've been using the uh, baby lips. Now I'm going to put some on now because I forgot to put some stuff on my lips and I'm going to sh put on. And I love this stuff. It just gives a tint of pink on your lips and it's really nice and soft. Especially when your lips are dry. It really helps. And I've been using also, I just bought about a week, maybe two weeks, about two weeks ago, I been I bought the EOS lip, the EOS, you know, lip balms, and these things come in a set of three. There's three here. You got a white, a blue, and a red one. And this one's vanilla, and the other two, I'm not quite sure what they were. And this one here is my son's. He claimed this as his own. He's used it once. You know, so it's like a berry smell, probably, but. Um, I have two other um, EOS lip balms and they're I've used them too. I'm almost gone with one the other one. I'm halfway through so and I thought the Wonderland collection was nice and this one I use I've used this quite a few times say so I've used it a few times and I love the smell of it and I like that it has Mickey Mouse well maybe I can show you in this one so you can see Mickey Mouse in print and then my um, this one I is also mine is you know I like this smell of this one but I don't remember the, the um, names of them but I like these they're from the Wonderland collection and then also I've been using um, I've been using the Pond's cold cream cool cold classic deep clean and removes makeup now this does remove makeup really well waterproof you just put a little bit on your eyes and it's gentle on your eyes won't irritate and it takes and then you can take a, um, a washcloth or just a regular cloth, like tissue or something, and wipe it off, and your um, 
And the scare comes off the waterproof because I've used waterproof too sometimes. And it is wonderful. And I've used this much. I don't think you can see. But, you know, I've used like a, quite a bit. And um, see, another thing that I do with this, which you can use it too if you like, I take, I scoop in like that. And I rub it in my hands, rub it all over my face. And then even, even when I don't wear makeup, I'll rub it all over my face. And then I'll wait about a minute, then I'll wash it off. And then I'll take my regular, whatever I'm going to wash with, whether it's this or it's this or whatever I'm going to use to wash my face with. I'll, you know, wash it and then I have soft skin. So if you've got dry skin, I notice it makes my face soft. So I use it either way, whether I have makeup or no. But it does real good with makeup. And I'm glad that, you know, some other beauty guru online, I wish I remembered her name because I can't remember who did, but she told me about it and it was like wonderful. And as soon as she said it, I went out and bought it a couple days later and I love it. And then also I use the Secret Wonderland Triple Moist Body Cream. And this has like a light scent to it, but it's really nice. And it's from um, Bath and Body Works and I know a signature one. And I use a whole bunch of other ones. I use the, um, you know, peppermint one, a bunch of others, but this one I use lately the most. And then um, also I've been using, I showed this before, the Desert Essence Cocoa Nut Shampoo Nourishing for Dry Hair. And this stuff is really good. It's 100% vegan, wheat free and gluten free shampoo, you know, and it's really good for your hair, you know, and I've used it and it does smell like coconuts. And then when you put it in your hair and you're done, your hair still has coconut smell to it. I have it in, I used it this morning. And then I used the uh, coconut conditioner nursing for dry hair. I used that too. I used like, squeeze like four pumps and, you know, I squeeze four times in my hand and I rub it together, put it on my ends to my top. Really good. Makes my hair soft. My hair is soft and manageable and not many flyaways, which is good. You know, and also, um, I've been using a triple moisturizing deep recovery mask once a week. I use this. A lot of it's gone, as you can see. This is what it's called from Neutrogena. And this stuff I tried last night. I took a little bit of it and I added it for maybe here down, you know, from where my hand is all the way down. I put a whole bunch of it there. I made sure it was rubbed in. And then I went to bed with it after a while, after maybe about two hours. An hour and a half to two hours and I went to bed with it still in my hair next morning. This morning I washed it and my hair is so soft and my ends don't feel like they're, they're dry. And that's what I like. And it also, with this helping, so I like it. And it has a nice pleasant smell. And the question that I'm going to have for all of you is do you know of any other deep mask, deep hair repair, anything like that? because I've only used this and I want to try other ones but I don't want to go spend in twenty thirty dollars if I don't know if they're gonna be that great so if you have any other deep you know moisturizing hair products you know let me know because I want to try a different hair mask or anything along that line you know that I could put in for five ten fifteen minutes and boom my hair looked nice and then also the other product I had is the Caroline Daughters Mimisa, Mimisa, if I'm spelling it, saying it right, Hair Honey, Shine Pomade Hair Dress. And this stuff, um, I use this at least four or five times a week. When I go to put my hair up in a top knot or something, I'll put a little bit in the front and it keeps my hair from like, you know, falling out or whatever. Or if I have a little bit of flyaway hair, I'll put a little bit in. Today I didn't put any in. Did not. And I've used, well, quite a bit. I've had it for two months. Got it. And beginning of October, middle of October, beginning or middle of October I got it and it's just like, um, and it softens the hair and controls flyaways is right there. So um, I like this stuff. It's $18. I got it at Ulta. So I was kind of cool on that, you know, and um, I used it. Um, quite a few times this month, at least three four times a week I use it, except today I didn't use it and I love it. And I got one product that I haven't used but I'm going to try it, but I just want to show you because I also got it for like a dollar. It's called Big Sexy Hair Pow Powder Play, you know, and this is for when you want to volumize, texturize, powder your hair and when your hair is like 
Oh, I got all that oils in my hair. You just put a little bit of powder in and then you go like this to it. I've not used it yet, but I am planning on, say still. I mean, that's what the top looks like. It's cute. Looks like a star. And then you get and you just pour it in your hair and you go like that, you know, and it makes it volumized and it makes takes away all the oils for dry hair. And it lifts, sprinkle through hair to lightweight texture, separate and it controls and it's seems to be really nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a review on this so y'all can see how it looks in my hair. And the last thing I got, which I'm going to show you guys, and I really love it, and I've worn it once, and out of the way chair, okay, um, is a pair of baby fat jeans. Now these things are like, they're a little wrinkled because I didn't, I hung didn't hang them up you know, right after they got washed and all that stuff but anyways that's what they are they're um, shiny they're gold um, they're I not sure what they have I just know they're gold they're you know stretchy and they're baby fat brand $79 hear that $79 but I only got it for $9.99 and I got it at um, manalive.com so look up manalive.com and you can get some great deals so and they're like they're my size and they have these at the bottom which are cute you know these little zipper things so they're really nice they're soft you know I didn't think they were going to be soft but they're soft and they're nice and they're size 11 because that's the size of men you know well I'm in size 10 I'm in 10 11s, but I got 11s because I they didn't have 10, so I got 11. So, and they're baby fat brand. You saw. See? Maybe I can't see it, but it says baby fat. Here, you can see it better. Baby fat. So, I'm going to link it below so you can see that it says, you know, Man Alive, and then you can check on some clothes there. They had some big sales, you know, just before the. Um, Black Friday and before Black Friday. They may still have sales there and there, but they're really, I really like them. And I'm going to be wearing them many times. So, and that's all. And that's all my home run. My home runs, but I do have a strikeout. Uh-huh. And it's the porcelain pink from the porcelain collection. right here I may have complained about this before I'm not sure but it's pink and, it, and it's very drying and it's just when you go to put on your lips it tugs on your lips and I don't like that and if you go to put something like um, I take my I have a quench like this of baby lips and I'll put that on I'll put this on and the color won't come on I mean it, you don't see the color but if you don't use it the ba you know the um, lip balm or something before the color will come on but you have to tug and if you put this on and you go to put lip gloss on, it just looks, doesn't look right. And this is what the color looks like. I'll swatch it off for you. See? I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a pink color. And it doesn't do justice to the color, but that's what the way it is. But anyways, it's just, yeah, I don't like it. But I'm going to finish it up little by little, you know, so I don't waste the product. And that's it. I'm never going to buy this product again. You know, I have other lipsticks, like three or four others that are awesome and they work perfect. But other than that, that one didn't work. So, like I said again, any hair mask, you know, any thing like that that you can, um, can tell me so I can try other ones out because I've been using this one, you know, for quite a while and I want to try something different but I don't know what to go to without spending the money and then realize, oh, I spent all this money don't like it. So, you know, give me some ideas and I hope you all have a good week I mean we're in some places it snowed I know Pennsylvania did other states had some snow but here it's just snow and rain mixed and didn't really do anything but I know soon we're gonna get snow and I hate snow but I'll deal with it but other than that you all have a nice day and catch you on the flip side